Hi there, my name's Lucy and this is my partner Lahiri. I have been living in the south of Sri Lanka for over a year now and it's been absolutely incredible. But now, we're in lockdown. Click the subscribe button and come along on this lockdown journey with me and hope that we can explore this beautiful country again very soon. In last week's video, we prepared for lockdown. Lockdown is coming at 11pm tonight. And in this week's video, well, here it is. The lockdown. Oh my god. Join me for a week stuck inside, see what I get up to and how I'm coping with things. I think I'm going deluded and we're only like day two into lockdown. Okay, so I have one avocado that's sprouted. That's so exciting. That's one out of seven. Woo! So I would like to say a massive thank you to Design Pika. I think that's how you pronounce your Instagram name for sending me and Lahiri this awesome illustration of us both with Coggy at the beach. It's so awesome. It was such a nice surprise to get your message and yeah thank you so so much for sending this through and for taking time taking your time to do this for us that's absolutely incredible and i thank you from the bottom of both of our hearts lahiri isn't here because of lockdown but um we really appreciate you for doing that for us um absolutely amazing if you have a talent similar feel free to send some designs or i'd love to feature you in my videos because i think it's really awesome the talent out there and to help small businesses get some recognition yeah thank you again for this this is awesome to sit down and do some work online before I do the feeding of the dogs. Usually I'm running behind time, but today I'm on it. Another rainy, windy day in paradise. Woo! The storm is coming in. Right, so my work is pretty much done for the day. I've still got a little bit left to do, but I thought I'd have a shower, and I've not done this in a long time, but with my coffee granules this morning, I've saved them, and I'm gonna do myself a face mask. So I've got coffee granules, uh, brown sugar, and a little bit of olive oil. 
and I'm gonna rub that into my face because it's a really good exfoliator. I sweat so much because it's so hot here and I'm like working all the time that my, my pores just clog up and they're not as clean as they should be. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. It's probably gonna look really silly, but I thought what a great way to recycle my coffee granules. Anyway, how are you guys doing? Are you having a good um, lockdown if you're in lockdown or how's your country dealing with, um, with the coronavirus pandemic? Because Sri Lanka was doing really, really well at the start. And uh, now uh, we're in another lockdown. When is this pandemic gonna end? I just wanna travel again. Ah, oh, yeah, feels good. It feels so good. Smells lovely. I think I've got some in my eye. I think I'm going deluded and we're only like day two into lockdown. Well, the coffee granules and the sugar is gonna take off all my dead skin cells and exfoliate me and then the olive oil is gonna moisture and put in all those vitamins that I need back into my skin. Because I am in the sun a lot. So I need to look after my skin a lot more. Right, I think I'm just gonna leave this on for like 10 minutes, have a shower, uh, maybe have some lunch and then do a bit more work. Coffee? It's coffee, sugar and olive oil. <laughs> I'm gonna be beautiful for when you come home. Are you okay? Yeah, are you okay? Yeah, it's fine. Do you wanna say hello to the vlog? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> It is day three of this lockdown and my mood today is pretty much just like the weather. I can't wait for tomorrow when the lockdown is lifted and I can go and visit the sanctuary. It would be good to get out the house for a bit. And to make my mood even better, I've just been sent a message, a screenshot, saying restrictions extended to 7th of June. Sri Lanka has decided to extend the travel restrictions to 7th of June. Oh my God. Lockdown is lifted, so today I'm heading to the sanctuary, which I'm super excited about. Even though I've only been on lockdown in the house for three days, I'm really excited to get out and see the family at the sanctuary. Hi, babies! <laughs> lovely to be back at the sanctuary today even though it's just for one day and we're back into lockdown again tomorrow it's so good to be here i haven't filmed much today because i've been super super busy um it's been an awesome day and i just love to see the familiar faces and yeah oh i love it here so much and just found out today that the lockdown is for five days so i thought originally it was going to be another three days but it's actually five days of lockdown until the next release date. So, a bit sad about that, but yeah, so five days and I'll be back here. And now we need to do a little bit of shopping. Okay, so we're walking to the shop because 
the government has said that you can only walk to the shop you're not allowed to go to the shop on your bike and you're also meant to go to the shop only one person from each household but that doesn't make any sense because what if you've got what if you're like a single parent and you've got 10 children how are you meant to go on your own and get everything you need so we're going together <laughs> my phone's gonna die so I won't be able to get any more videos from here so see you tomorrow Coggy's helping us make coconut roti for dinner. Hello everyone, it's day five. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's day five. Um, yesterday was the lift, so I was able to go to the sanctuary, which was super nice. Today we're back into lockdown for five days. And I've just kind of finished my work for the day. I'm like halfway through the day and just sat down to have my lunch break. The power has gone off, the storm's coming back in and usually i have a shower at this time to wash off all the fish and caca and everything but because the power's off there is no water and luckily i don't have to cook my lunch i've got leftover coconut rotis from last night and leftover hummus as well and it's blooming delicious Sorry I haven't really done any recording today. I've been super, super busy. Now it's getting dark really early. We've got a storm coming in. Actually, we've had a storm for the last three days. There's been like warnings out and rescue teams on standby, but it seems to be okay. Like it's under control. Um, yeah, but these storms, they make my mood a little bit low. The sun gives me energy, you know? I'm one of those people like my mood fluctuates with the weather so if the sun is out and it's a glorious day then my mood will be so good but if it's raining and it's dull and blah my mood not so good <laughs> anyway today it's Vesak Poya day super Vesak is that right <laughs> today it's Vesak it's huge in Sri Lanka basically it's Buddha's birthday so Buddhists all over the country are celebrating Vesak however not this year again same like last year we were in a lockdown the corona cases are going up um, obviously which is why we're in lockdown so yeah for Vesak people can't go and visit temples which they'd usually do traditionally Buddhists will go to the temples early in the morning and raise the Buddhist flag and they always bring offerings like flowers candles and incense stick to the temple and say some prayers and it's just really lovely I, I really like these times these specific days where devotees go and they they just give lots of offerings and they spend time at the temple it's a really beautiful time when I was doing my research about Vesak I saw that Vesak is a specific time to give happiness to others around you but I feel like it shouldn't just be on this specific day where you're giving happiness it should be given any day of the year any time pass on happiness make other people feel happy around you that's the perfect best way to be in my opinion what I also find really interesting about Poya days in general Poya day is a full moon day what I find really interesting about these Poya days is that the consumption of alcohol and meat and fish are prohibited so wine shops and slaughterhouses all get closed down by the government on these specific Poya days I think that's really awesome being a vegan <laughs> and also when I was researching about Vesak it was saying about the Vesak lantern lighting it in your family home is bringing the memory of Buddha to your family home and I think that is so beautiful but we've got our Vesak lanterns up 
in my room which we were able to create ourselves we bought like the children's packs to, <laughs> to build your own lantern which was really really fun and it was my first time doing that so super vasak everyone i hope you have a lovely lovely day Good morning everybody, today is the last day of my video a week in lockdown, even though today isn't the last day of lockdown, I thought originally it was going to be, that's that annoying bird I was talking to you about at the start of this video. How loud is that bird? Ayo. So today is the last day of this video, but the lockdown continues. So that's fun. I'm finishing this video today because I'm starting a new video project, which is our dance challenge TikTok, which is a seven day challenge that we've created ourselves to put out a video every single day. And we thought it'd be hilarious to just do a dance challenge because we like to do that kind of thing together. Um, also today Lahiria is here with me at the house because it's his holiday, actually it's technically meant to be my holiday as well but this lockdown is kind of a holiday, well kind of, even though I am working really hard also <laughs> but um, yeah so he's here with me, we're gonna do some work, clean the house, feed the dogs, whoa Rosie, there she is, Rosie, <laughs> you crazy girl, ow, no biting no. Yeah, we're going to clean the house, feed the dogs, and then do another dance challenge. Because <laughs> it's really fun. And I don't usually have breakfast, but today I'm going to because I've been sent something quite special. Well, it's a loaf of bread, but it's rye bread from a new bakery in Ghoul. So my friend sent it home last night, and I'm super happy because I've got really amazing, healthy, beautiful bread with peanut butter and banana for breakfast. Mm. One of my favourite parts about this job, and I have many, many favourite parts, but one of my favourite parts is picking up poo. And I know it sounds strange, but I find it quite therapeutic. If you're in the animal care sector and you pick up poo in your daily job, do you find it therapeutic as well? Because I do, like I actually love it. Like, it's kind of like a treasure hunt, kind of, almost, <laughs> not really. I don't know, maybe you find it a little bit strange, but thought I'd just share that with you. Fun fact about Lucy. interrupt this program because of a technical difficulty.
are you? Hmm. For the barbecue? Yeah. Hey, can you not just hang it over the thing? It's not really a little hard. A heart? <laughs> <laughs> so beautiful today. Yeah. Give this video a thumbs up if you think he's beautiful. <laughs> today, night, barbecue. But hopefully tonight no rain. What do you think? Raining or no raining? No raining. Poggy, are you helping daddy? It's that bird again. Poggy, go in the hill. Poggy, Poggy. Yanna. Poggy, are you helping? Mosey, are you helping? Very, very disturbed boy. Go. Come on, Come with me. Yeah. Come on. You can help me clean in the kitchen. <laughs> we're going to finish cleaning in the kitchen because we've fed all the dogs, so now we've got a load of cleaning up to do. Let's go, Coggy. Can you help Mummy? Your breath smells like the fish. Disturbed Coggy. <laughs> but it's fine for him to disturb because he's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah, stop that time. How's it going? Oh, that's nice. It's beautiful, my gallery. Well, if you're wondering why I look all hot and sweaty, it's because we've just done another TikTok dance challenge. It's day two and it was so awesome, so much fun. It feels so good to do some movements and at the same time as that exercise, like we're having lots of fun and it's just hilarious. Um, so definitely go check it out when it comes out or before if it's come out. I don't know how, like what video is gonna come out first. Um, but yeah, tonight we are gonna have a barbecue and celebrate Vesak, which was like a couple days delayed. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna have a bit of time together, overlooking the fire, we're surrounded by our doggies, and just relax for the evening. So yeah, we're gonna go and prepare the food now. What's on the menu tonight, Chef? It's potato, barbecue, pumpkin, barbecue, tofu, barbecue, this Would banana and chocolate barbecue. And peanut butter. Peanut butter and guacamole because we've got loads of avocados. So I've just made a marinade for the tofu. Olive oil, soya sauce, liquid smoke, pepper, garlic, chili flakes, a little touch of marmite and some tomato sauce. And yeah, just gonna let the tofu sit in the fridge for a couple of hours before we put it on the barbecue. And hopefully it will taste super delicious because last time we did tofu on the barbecue, it was amazing. to be can I get some comfort please I guess I should have been honest I break to my heart it's weighing me down baby won't you lay it on me turn the page and burn it let's make our lighters and throw our problems in the flame throw our problems in the flame well this is where you'll find us for the rest of the evening as we sit here with our lovely barbecue and wonder how long this lockdown is going to last for it's been extended we don't know when exactly it's going to finish we know when the breaks are going to happen but we don't know when the final end date is of lockdown. I guess we just have to wait and see, just like the whole of Sri Lanka does. Um, but yeah, this is where we're gonna love you and leave you tonight. Do you wanna be in the ending? 
thank you this video looking and if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up because it really helps my channel out and also subscribe if you're not already all right guys see you in the next video take care stay safe and healthy bye in the flame Throw our problems in the flame And throw our Let's problems eat. in the flames Ooh, Throw our problems in the flame I get a little bit breath Hold on a minute, guys. Hold on. Why doesn't it just work like that? It's so annoying. Anyway, what was I saying? Mmm. Delicious. I saw that. <sighs> Ooh. Chizzle. Okay.